Hello my loves, welcome back to another reading vlog. My name is Jamie, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. So it's currently Monday, we're gonna do a weekly reading vlog this week. I've really missed doing just like regular weekly reading vlogs as opposed to like reading challenges. So hopefully this vlog is gonna be really casual. I don't have too many plans. I will say though, I'm in the middle of a reading slump and it's kicking my ass and I'm really upset about it. So hopefully this week we can really focus on reading books that are gonna get me out of my reading slump. But speaking of, I'm in the middle of two books right now and I also have a pretty loose TBR for the week. So let's get into it. The first book that I'm in the middle of is Balladonna by Adeline Grace. I'm on page 125 and if you saw my most recent reading vlog where I read purple books for a week, you'll know that I'm really enjoying this so far. Even though I'm feeling slumpy, it's not the book's fault. I think it's just like me. I think I'm just burnt out and tired, but I don't know. Anyway, this is a gothic fairy tale, like YA fantasy. We follow our main character, Signa, who was orphaned at birth and she has these powers where like she can't die, she's immortal, but she also has some of like the Grim Reaper's powers. So she's gone to this manor where she has some long lost family living there. She's staying with them, but she's also trying to solve a um, murder that happened at the manor kind of recently so it's kind of murder mystery vibes but i'm really really appreciating all of the imagery it definitely is true when people say that this is a gothic fairy tale because i can just picture this gothic mansion in my head i'm really enjoying that aspect of the book so i can't wait to see where the rest of the book goes i really hope to finish this this week i'm also in the middle of a really silly little book on my kindle i think i'm like 20 percent of the way through and this is called dirty like brody and this is the second book in the dirty series which is a romance series about a rock band. I'm pretty sure the rock band is called Dirty. I can't remember. I read the first book last year and had a lot of fun with that. And then I saw that like the rest of the series is on Kindle Unlimited. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to continue. Like it's a fun book, really silly romances. Yeah, I'm enjoying this so far. This is basically a, I think, second chance romance. We follow our main character who is the sister of the male love interest from the first book and then the band's manager. And they were like childhood best friends. And then I think our female main character just kind of ran away from everything. Some tough stuff happened in her life. And now she's like come back for her brother's wedding. And she's seeing, you know, her childhood love now turned enemy for the first time in a really long time. And sparks are flying, tensions are flying. I'm really enjoying this so far. I don't know where the rest of the story is going to go, but I'm really hoping the whole book is set on this wedding because that would just, or set during this wedding, because that would just be really, really fun. But I am really enjoying it. It's just nice and easy to read on my Kindle when I don't feel like, like holding a physical book. But yeah, really loving this so far and really recommend. And then I have a few things that I think will be my reading slump this week as well. First of all, there are a few books that I need to read for Patreon. So first I have Brutes by Diz Tate, which is a literary fiction coming of age novel. I'm actually reading this for a separate video, so I don't know how much I will be updating on my thoughts for this one in this particular reading vlog, but you guys know that you'll be getting my thoughts and like my wrap up and I will try and update as much as possible, but I'm going to be starting this today, I think. It's a pretty short book, so I reckon I can get through it like tonight tomorrow. Tonight I am playing Dungeons and Dragons with friends, but after that I reckon I can get through a bit of this. Then I'd also love to get through more Patreon reads, which is The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead, which is a thriller. Really excited to read this. This is for my book club, and I believe this is pretty dark, and it's like cult vibes. And that's kind of all I know, but that's all I need to know. I know there are some really intense like trigger warnings for this, but I'm sure I will look them up before I start it. But I would love to get to this this week if I can. And then I'd also really love to read The Risk by Elle Kennedy, which is part of my series book club. This is the second book in the Briar U series, and it is a new adult college romance, like sports romance. And this will be a reread for me as well, so I feel like that will be really good for getting me out of my slump. I always find rereads are really great. But this is like forbidden love enemies to lovers and i really love the two main characters in here so i'm really excited to reread this i'm pretty sure like on goodreads i gave it three stars when i first read it but i don't remember anything about it like i wasn't making videos at the time when i read this i don't think so i'm excited to get back into this and be like why did i give it three stars because i love these two characters so yeah can't wait to get back into this. It's going to be like reading it for the first time because I literally remember nothing about it. And then this is going to seem really silly. Like, Jamie, if you're trying to get out of a reading slump, why have you put an over 700 page book 
on your TBR for the week. This is Glow by Raven Kennedy and this is the fourth book in the Plato Prisoner series and I love these books so much. They're so 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 addicting. So I genuinely feel if there's anything that's going to get me out of a, re of a reading slump it will be the Plated Prisoner series. So I have put this on here just in case. This is a King Midas retelling. It's a fantasy romance and I really really love these books. The third book ended on a massive cliffhanger so I cannot wait to get into this one. These are the books that I'm hoping to read this week. I'm not totally sure if I'll get through all of them but I would love it if I did. For the rest of the day I'm going to play games with my friends at around seven o'clock at night so I have a bit of time. It's currently like nearly three o'clock it's quarter to three so i'm just gonna keep working i have a lot of work to do i'm gonna keep working until then but if i can i do want to start brutes at some stage during now and when i leave i'm hoping i can do it i can probably do it yeah that's the plan that is the plan okay well I'll let you guys know if I have any updates for you. I really hope you enjoy this reading vlog. I'm hopefully going to be doing a lot of bookish stuff this week. I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, hope you enjoy and I will see you soon. Hello everyone. It's like nighttime now. It's like 6.30. I finished with all of my filming and stuff that I needed to do today. I'm feeling so accomplished, but I'm going to have so much editing to do this week. Like I've basically nearly finished editing a video just this afternoon. I think I finished filming around like 4 and I've been editing since then. Oh my god, stress. I feel like a lot of this week is going to be work related and editing related, which isn't the funnest. But I did read the first chapter of Brutes, so I have started a new book, so I'm going to be reading this and Belladonna kind of at the same time. I would have started this a bit later, but I am reading it for a separate video, so I do want to get that video out, which is why I needed to start this. But so far, I'm really loving it. Basically, it's a coming of age novel about a group of teenagers in Florida and a girl that they're obsessed with has like gone missing and that's kind of the backdrop of the whole story. I don't really know where it's gonna go but the writing style is so me. I don't even know if it's like it's definitely first person but I don't know who the narrator is because they have not once said like I they keep saying we. So I'm like is the narrator like a group of people? Like I don't know but I find it really fascinating. I'm loving the writing style. I'm gonna be really interested to see where this book goes. I haven't heard anyone talk about it so I'm excited to make up my own mind about it. But yeah very very good so far even though I've only read 15 pages. I can just tell that I'm gonna really like it. But I think I'm gonna finish work for the night. I really want to keep reading Brutes like I'm already so blown away by the writing style but I do have to go meet friends at seven. I'm really nervous because me and Ben are leaving Zuko our dog home alone for the first time since we've gotten him and I'm a bit nervous any puppy parents or people who have raised puppies before will probably understand that that first time is quite scary but yeah I'm nervous. Anyway <laughs> I'm gonna go meet friends now so I'm gonna go get ready for that but I will hopefully see you when I get home. Hopefully it's not too late and I can keep reading. If not, I'll just see you tomorrow, even though I think tomorrow's gonna be really boring and just like a big, big editing working day. I'll see you later. Hey guys, okay, so it's like 10 to five on Tuesday evening. I have spent the entire day editing. I swear to God, I just stopped now because I've started to get a bit of a headache from staring at a screen all day. But like, I swear to God, I started editing at the beginning of the day. I haven't taken a single break. I swear to God, I blinked and now it's like the evening. So I think after my massive day of work, I'm gonna treat myself with just a few hours of reading. I do have another really busy evening because I have to take Zuko to puppy school. We've got another puppy school session tonight at about 7.15. So I've got a couple of hours before them. And then I'm doing a Twitch stream right after that. When I tell you guys I'm busy, I mean it in the sense that I am busy. Like these next couple of hours are really like the only hours that I'm gonna have to just like decompress and like have to myself. But honestly, I love doing it. So it's not like I'm complaining. Like I don't want anyone to be like, oh my God, she's just just complaining about the fact that her job is booktube. No, I genuinely love it and like I like the editing process. I definitely feel that headache from just staring at a screen all day. So I think I'm going to hop into bed for a bit and maybe have a little coffee and read some more of Brutes. I only read another chapter last night when I got home from hanging out with my friends so I was so tired. But like that second chapter again just like solidified that like it's a really enjoyable book. So I hope to get to maybe like page 100 like halfway through in the next couple of hours. I just 
I want to have a good reading session. It's been a while since I've like sat down and actually had like a full on reading session. That's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to get up like the coziest vibes ever. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can't wait. Okay. Yeah. Really boring Tuesday. Sorry everyone. But this is what the majority of my days look like to be fair. It's just me working. Thursday I am in my office now and I have some reading updates for you so first of all sorry for not vlogging yesterday I ended up having a really busy day like this week has been really boring so far which is just why I've not been vlogging but today I've done some reading this morning and then I had a movie night with my patrons well I say movie night we had a movie watch along it was nighttime for some people but it was like the middle of the day for me and and we watched Mamma Mia, which obviously was a rewatch for me, but loved it. So fun. But okay, I have been reading more of these two books. So I've got into page 73 of Brutes. Not really much to update with this one. Like it's still just all vibes, no real plot, but still really, really enjoying that aspect of it and really enjoying the writing style. But the main kind of progress I've made has been on Belladonna. And I'm now on page 266 of Belladonna. So I'm over halfway and I'm still really enjoying this one. It's just not, I don't know. I think it's cause like my reading slump kind of started when I started this book and it's nothing to do with the book. Like I think the book is really good. Like if I'm looking at it from an objective standpoint, I think it's well written. The plot is good. Like it's well paced and the characters like are developing really, really nicely. But I just find myself losing focus too much and I just think it is because of that reading slump. My plan moving forward now is I really wanna finish this book, but I'm in like a really tired mood where I don't wanna do anything except for just read. Like I got ready, right? I did my makeup. I was like, I'm gonna film some videos today and I just can't bring myself to get out of my hoodie. Like I'm in a reading mood right now. So I'm really gonna take advantage of this and try and finish this tonight, especially cause in a couple of hours, me and Ben are taking Zuko to the vet to get his third and final vaccination. But yeah, I am really, really enjoying this. And every time it like the plot goes somewhere, I never expect it. Like I never expect what's gonna be happening next. And I really, really love that about it. And the atmosphere is just so, so, so nice. I just don't know why I haven't been like fully engaged. So I'm gonna try fully engage myself now. For some reason, I'm more fully engaged in this book. So actually maybe I'll just try finish this book now and then move on to this one and then start something else. And honestly, I think once I finish this, I'm just gonna wanna move on to a romance, like something where I really don't have to use my brain all that much. I don't know, lads. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just feeling weird. I'm not feeling bad, like emotionally or anything. I'm just feeling like not 100%, but it's not like a bad thing. I don't know, maybe it's just burnout. I always burn myself out sometimes. Anyway, I'm gonna go get cozy and read and I'll let you guys know um, if I finish any books in the next few hours. Good morning. I've just kind of woken up. It's Friday and I feel like my reading slump is just still in full swing. Like I'm reading things, but I'm like, oh, I wanna be doing something else. It's so bad, I don't know why. It's got literally nothing to do with the books I'm reading. Genuinely, it's got nothing to do with them, but I don't know what's happening. My advice that I give to other people is just like, just like, you know, don't even try to push through it. Just like, just like let yourself not read and you will want to pick up a book in the future eventually. I'm not good at taking my own advice. That is something that is very much my personality trait. But also the difference is, is that like reading's my job. So I kind of have to push through. So it's a really rainy day today. I'm gonna make it my mission to just have like 
a really nice cozy day reading. I'm gonna get some good food. I've all like showered and like done my skincare and everything. So I'm feeling very like fresh and clean. I'm just gonna finish these two books and then maybe start a new one. And like, I feel like that is a good way to push through this. I have nearly finished both of them. So I think I'm gonna try, this is the agenda for the day. I'm gonna try finish this one first and then I'm gonna finish this one and then I might start a romance. And then hopefully once I've done that, everything will be happy and good again. And I will want to read all the time. I'll see you soon. I'll let you know how it goes. I'll give you all the updates manifest for me that it goes well. Hello everyone. Well, I have some news. I finished a book. I finished it. I finished it. I finished Brutes uh, the other day and I gave it four out of five stars. I really, really, really enjoyed this. Now that the video that I was reading this for is up, I'll tell you what it was for. Basically for my Patreon. It, I always hate like plugging my Patreon like this. Like I swear to God, I'm not like trying to make all of my videos about plugging my Patreon. But just for context, for my Patreon, I do three exclusive videos a month. One of the exclusive videos for July was a bonus episode of Reading My Physical TBR, a series that I do on my channel all the time. So I did a bonus episode for them and I picked this one. So I read this for that reading vlog and honestly, really loved it. I gave it four stars. It's definitely not gonna be for everyone. Like it's super unsettling. Now that I've finished it, I still don't even really know what the messages or themes were about, but I think this was definitely more of a showcase in like creative writing as opposed to like a very twisty plot heavy novel or like a big character study because there wasn't any like big character journeys we really went on. It was definitely more about the atmosphere and the writing, I think. Just the writing style, I feel like was the most important part of this novel. I really, really liked it. It was a definitely a massive change of pace from some of the books that I have been reading more recently. If it does sound kind of up your alley, I do definitely recommend it. Like four stars, like come on, loved it. But um, it's definitely not gonna be for everyone. I do need to stress that. It's very weird and it's very gross but the way these gross things are written, it's kind of done so beautifully and like through a very roast into glasses, like romantic lens. And I loved that. I loved that. Anyway, so glad I finally finished a book. Balladonna, you are gonna be the death of me, babe. You are gonna be the death of me. I'm on page 368. I have like 40 pages left and it's taken me so long to read it. I have this sort of reading slump where like I look at the book and the words are just swirling. Like I can't focus, like I, <sighs> I don't know. I'm still enjoying it. Like, that's the thing. Like, I'm reading it and I'm like, objectively, it's good. But like, I don't know where my brain is going. I think what I'm going to try and do, this is going to be the last day for the reading vlog, right? I think what I'm going to try and do is once I've done everything I need to do today, I'm going to sit down, knock out these final 40 pages and then just take a break for a couple of days. Like, not force myself to read. Because I feel like if you're in a reading slump and you're forcing yourself to read, it's not going to happen for you, babe. You're just going to make it worse. So... I think I'm just gonna take a couple of breaks once I finish this, like just take a few days off of reading and do everything else that I need to do during that time. And then by the time it's all done, like just read it again. I'm gonna watch a whole lot of booktube because that always gets my motivation up to like pick up a book. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Like I genuinely am really enjoying you. It's so hard. It's my life is so hard. Anyway, I just wanted to give that update. I think what I'm gonna do now. So today I have a bunch of videos to film. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also, I'm not sure if you can see over here. In fact, you know what? I'll take you with me. Hang on. <laughs> the state of my bookshelves. The state of them. The absolute state of them. Disgusting. Horrible. This piles gross. You don't even want to look. Oh God, that's horrible. I haven't done a big bookshelf reorganization in a while. Let me just put you down. Yeah, as I was saying, I haven't done a big bookshelf organization in a while. And I've also recently read a lot of books in my physical TBR that aren't promising, aren't fun, aren't good, not enjoying them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a big clear out right now, reorganize my bookshelves and potentially just do a little seasonal unhaul as I, as I like to do. I don't know how much I'm actually going to get rid of. Like the devastating thing is, is that I don't want to get rid of any of my books. I love having a massive library that I can reference and pull books from, lend out to people. But unfortunately, I just do not have the space. I cannot afford to get another bookshelf. 
just because of the limited space that I have in my house. You know, what I would do is I would clear it out and, you know, put some books in storage, but I don't think I'm going to be able to like fi be financially comfortable enough to get a bigger house anytime soon. Like definitely not within the next five years. I mean, I don't know what life holds. I might win the lottery. Uh, no, I won't. I don't buy lottery tickets. I don't know. I just don't think that me having more space to hold my books is going to be a realistic, feasible thing in the near future. So I think what's best for me right now is to unfortunately just get rid of some of the books that I haven't enjoyed from my physical TBR. I'm not going to be getting rid of any of the books that I haven't read because every single book on my physical TBR I'm still very, very interested in. But the ones that I have read recently, some of them just aren't great. And so I'm like, I might as well just send them, send them off somewhere else. I think also what's inspiring me to do this is because I'm, I'm not sure if you guys remember this in the Jamie's library history of 2023, maybe like in April, I went to my partner Ben's hometown and in his hometown, I found the most amazing secondhand bookshop of all time. I found like four incredible books that I, have been looking for forever. It was probably the best secondhand bookshop I have ever been to. And that was in this fucking small town. Anyway, we're going there again in a couple of weeks. And so I'm gonna go to that bookshop and just donate my books to that bookshop because it was incredible. And the owner, he was there. We had a massive conversation, a massive yarn. Really, really loved him and his vibe. So I'm like, I think, you know, if I'm gonna get rid of my books, donating them to a secondhand bookshop that I'm like, this is amazing. is really cool so I'm gonna do that and also he said to me when I like bought those books from him at the second hand bookshop he was like to me if you read them and you want to give them back you can like bring them back and get another book for half price and I was like okay so I think we'll just see how it goes like if I go and take like 20 books and donate to him and then maybe like buy one book for 50% off at the second hand bookshop that'll be fun maybe hey maybe i'll do a book shopping vlog for you in the next couple of weeks anyways enough rambling i'm just gonna pull all of these books out off my shelf go through them all and make my bookshelves look pretty again because i miss when they looked really pretty roll the tapes the b-roll whatever it is and action And I do not want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know why I m make these goals and ambitions for my day. But I have to. I have to complete it. Honestly, it had to be done. It literally did have to be done. So I'm glad I'm doing it now. But I'm going crazy. I'm kind of finished. But I still have these piles. Ignore Zuko playing. Um, I still have a pile, basically. And I don't know what to do with it. I think I'm going to have to make it still look chaotic and just put stuff like up there. I don't know. My only solution was to put the remaining pile of books here on the mantelpiece. But it's okay because it's like next to the bookshelf. So I feel like it doesn't look too bad. And there were candles but here. I just moved them onto the bookshelf instead. Which I think looks nice. I think. I don't know. Here she is. 
in all of her glory. Certainly not the most organized or the prettiest on the internet, but just so much better than it was before, honestly. I also pulled two massive piles from my bookshelves to one haul. So that feels really good. It, it feels refreshed. Please expect one of my seasonal unhaul videos to be coming soon, probably in August. I think I'll probably film that video tomorrow. But yeah, I feel good and I can take these to that secondhand bookshop, which I talked about earlier. So yeah, completed. I feel like a giant weight is lifted off my shoulders, to be honest. I've been meaning to do that for months now because it's been horrible four months so now that that's done i definitely feel like yeah lifted and refreshed so i think my plan now i was gonna film some videos but it's like 2 30 and that's when the light starts to go in my house like the sweet spot for filming videos is like literally like 11 to 2 i would say and then the light starts being awful so i think my plan now is to just try and finish that goddamn book try and finish belladonna so i can let you know my thoughts on it i think that's yeah the best solution for me now and also after just like running around for the past hour and a half trying to carry heavy books and put them away yeah i would love to lie down and finish my book so i'm gonna do exactly that and I'll catch up with you once I finished. Guys, I finished Belladonna. I did it, I did it, I did it. It may seem like a really dumb achievement. Like people might be sitting here being like, Jamie, why are you praising yourself so hard? It's literally your job. I'm like, yeah, you're right. But I don't know, I feel good. I feel good that I finished it, especially just because, I don't know, reading slumps are a bitch especially when it is your job i don't even know how to explain it but i finished it that ending was fantastic i think it was a little bit predictable like some plot twists that happened i was like yeah i could have seen that coming a mile off but still really really enjoyed it like really glad that i read it and cannot wait for the second book to come out very very soon and yeah i do definitely highly recommend this to anyone who loves a very atmospheric fantasy a little bit of a murder mystery definitely really fun now that i've finished that book i am going to probably spend the rest of my evening editing and i'm going to take a good a good couple days off reading just because i need it i think i need it i need it to recuperate refresh and then i can pick up something new and really enjoy my time with it so that brings the end of this vlog guys thank you so much for watching if you did i have not even touched the footage that i have for this i have not edited a single thing so i have no idea what this vlog is going to be like hopefully it's good if it's not i apologize if it is <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> i don't know i don't know but guys thank you so much for watching um after i take a couple of days off reading i will have a reading vlog coming to you very very soon and even though i will be taking a couple of days off reading i still have like my august tbr coming my july wrap up all that stuff so do not worry it's not like you're not going to get any videos or anything like that but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate you all so much i'm really glad we finished two books this week i feel very accomplished but yeah, of course a cheeky reminder, all my socials are linked down below as well as my Patreon. So if you do want extra content from me, all of the information is on the page. But yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you very, very soon in the next video. Bye.